people upset at me for giving leniency to Sir Fuentes. Okay, but no, no, you already asked him to a rematch debate earlier and he said no. Who? Or wait, about what? Wait. On the couch at Fresh and Frit. Oh, yeah. Okay, Doesn't he, don't you think that's kind of weird? Shouldn't he want to like rehash his points over and over again if he's correct about things? The enemy of the United States in the Cold War, they joined the U.S. in, in perpetuating the myth of the Holocaust? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so bad. Nick, stop. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, you know what else has got to go in a Christian society? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's gonna say, Lauren? If you had to guess, I'll give you two guesses. What do you think? And now, dear friends, here's Benjamin Netanyahu. You're loved by many people here in Israel and in the world, but you're also hated by many. Mm. In fact, I think you may be one of the, the most hated men in the world. Uh -oh. So if there's a young man or a young woman listening to this right now who have such hate in their heart, what can you say to them to one day turn that hate into love? I disagree with the premise of your question. Uh, I think I have... Uh... How's life going? Well, how's your life going? My life's going... I just asked you how your life's going. Oh, well. you said I well. Said well. Oh. I thought you meant life? like well, like not like well. Nobody ever says well like that, but... Well? Yeah, like that. Like that wasn't like, well, that was like, well, and then like the next thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do understand what you're saying. Yes, I understand what you are saying. How Did you ever fun? see that episode of South Park? Yeah. Where Butters is a pimp. No. And they keep saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, saying? And he's like, yes, I know what you are saying. Never mind. Nope. <laughs> and so, yeah. I've only seen like two episodes of South Park. Yeah, so. oh, I love that show. Yeah. Does it bother you how much they make fun of conservatives? Um, they also make fun of Democrats, and they used to be. I like that they're true to themselves, you know, and that they because there's points where they were making fun of Democrats pretty hard, and then there's points where they were making fun of conservatives. I think they're just holy doing shit, what they Friday, it looks right. Jewish. What the f happened to? True. What was that? Uh, uh, at any point, you want to um, toss me some headphones? What do you need them for? Okay. I was just asking. I guess I don't. No, that's okay. I guess. Hold on one sec. It's just, you know, I'm, I guess I'm used to the class uh, and um, of like Myron, who would just like hand me the mic, not tell me to grab it, and who would just give me headphones, you know, but. Oh yeah, is that what you want? <laughs> we can do that. Okay, stop, listen to me. Look at me, okay? Pay attention. I'm only gonna tell you one time. Sit correctly. Sit up, okay. Nope, sit up. Look at me, don't look at the screen, okay? Or you're gonna look like a retard, okay? I'm gonna give you headphones, put <coughs> these on, sit still. Is there something more entertaining than me right now in the room? Look at me, okay? Headphones, put these on the whole time. Don't lean back, don't lean too much If forward. you keep role playing Myron, I'm gonna get too horny for this Shut the f up. <coughs> but technically that was Chris, right? He's the one yeah, that, that does Yeah, that was Chris, that was 100% yeah. Chris, but yeah. No, I, no, Myron doesn't talk like that. Yeah, you were talking to your friend. Yeah, Hunter. Hunter, yeah. Yeah. And um, what people- What were you guys chatting were, about? Well, we were chatting about people upset at me for giving leniency to Sir Fuentes. Wow, what was the argument about? What kind of leniency were you giving him? Well, I just feel like the only time, so first of all, I guess I don't really follow his lore that well because he's not even in popular media because he's banned from everything. So you have to like go to his stuff. And I tried, but it's hard. I like to be in the, I like to see people in the mix of things. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so the only th things I really knew about him is what he told me and also was your debate with him from what I was listening to. Mm -hmm. Um, and so he was just, so what do you, and wait, also hold like on, mutual I, friends. Yeah. I still don't know. That he's nice. And I, I still don't know what you were talking about. With, oh, we were, sorry, Hunter, we were talking yeah. about, uh, uh, whether you're or giving not, him a leniency. Yeah, what are you giving not, him leniency on? Yeah. I, yeah. That was the thing. People were like saying, are you denying the Holocaust? And that's the thing. I, like, what am I giving him leniency on? Like I didn't say, I didn't ever conceded to saying, oh yeah, the my grandma and all my family, they must be lying. 
Like, no, my grandma. Like, my grandma who wrote a book, documented this, who I've talked to, who I've lived with, who I love very dearly, clearly survived Okay, but remember Holocaust. when Fuentes talked about the one guy who discovered his twin brother was still alive? <laughs> so. <laughs> so. You know what? I, you got me. End of end of debate, I guess. Cap on my grandma. Okay, so Fuentes doesn't, apparently, as of today, doesn't believe the Holocaust happened. I think at all. No, no way. What? When did he say that? I don't. I'm not following him. He said that today. Um. No, I. So wait, people, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think he said that when I was on the show. Didn't he say he didn't believe really the Holocaust happened at all? No, he said that there was like war and people died yep. and things happened. None and of those things were, are the Holocaust, right? Or is that what happened I, to the Jews? I guess like he's war and things happened. He, I, I don't know. He, there was like a lot of points mixed into there. I really need to go back and. <laughs> oh, okay. Stay. Honestly, I was so sidetracked with not getting murdered, you know, at the studio. Uh huh. So, um, yeah, I was listening to you a little bit, but I was just like downstairs trying to survive, uh -huh. get ready for my showing. Okay. That, that I thought, has. and I, you know, I, maybe I'm just crazy, but I thought I remember him saying that there was, uh, there were like no gas chambers, there was no like. He organized, said there was no gas chambers. There were no organized, systematic killing of Jewish people. So, I think, I think he did say that. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure. Isn't about that, that. kind of like what the Holocaust is? <laughs> like the organized, systematic did, killing of okay, Jewish people. Okay, but when I and said others? that he put my grandma in a ghetto, I don't think he denied that the ghetto existed. I don't think that he yeah, denied but that's not that the like, camps existed. I don't know. So, like, I don't know how much of the hall. I don't really... I really need to, like, sit down with him and figure out where so, he lies. But then also, I feel like I was severely underprepared to meet him because he mentioned, th like, he mentions conspiracy theories. And so this is my time to apologize to Aaron about the... Uh, you don't know who Ray asked... <laughs> I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> that so. was brutal. Brutal. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so anyway. Okay, that's so, good that you're yeah, apologizing. So I'd, like I'd like to go through all of his shit and figure out like all of his conspiracy theories. Oh, sorry, theories. hold on real quick. Like, I'm sorry. The reference is, is Lauren is a clip where she's being a friend to a friend of the kind. stream, Aaron, where Aaron nice. is trying to talk about January 6th and Lauren is like screaming, like, <laughs> you don't know who Ray Apps is? Talking about this, you don't know Ray Abs. Like in the most obnoxious manner possible. That's what we're referencing. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um. Okay. So anyway, Nick was bringing up conspiracies you'd never heard of, like the gas chambers didn't exist. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, no, 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 no. What was the other one? Like the Treaty of Versailles was a hundred percent caused by a Jewish organization. I feel like the whole world kind of agreed that Germany fucked up a lot in World War One and. But oh, and also that World War One was the Jews. Like literally everything, according to Nick. And, but like, I, but he genuinely. I here's the thing. I think he genuinely believes it. I don't think that he's trying to be a dick. I don't think that he's trying to make shit up. I don't think he's trying to spread the lies. I think he genuinely believes this shit, and he, which justifies a lot. So like, if you don't believe the Holocaust happened, or that it was severely worse, or that it was at least somewhat justified, then I could understand thinking Hitler wasn't that terrible. Okay. Do you think that like when we're at dinner or when we're we're at pre-show and stuff, and Fuentes is like, I don't really care to talk about any of this, so I don't give a f about any of this. You don't think that like makes you think a little bit like it's kind of a meme for him a little bit? Like he's not, like he doesn't, like he is probably- I think he must be worn out. And also it must be really exhausting. So he has really difficult points. So, I, and I said this on Hunter Avalon show, like I have a lot of empathy for Nick because I remember when I was in law school, I was at a very liberal place in Boston and I had theories about COVID and I was, and Sorry, I was ostracized. Okay. And I was censored online, and it was really painful. And I just remember feeling alone and scared and like controlled. And so maybe he has these. And also, I was told that I was a racist against Chinese people. And like I love, like I'm related to some Chinese people. I love my Chinese family, Aunt E. I love you. We've, and, I've seen the Instagram stories. Yeah. Yeah, I love my auntie. And so, um, yeah, no, I'm not racist against Chinese people, but I do think that's where the virus came from. Not, nothing about that implies you're racist. But no, but then, but if you try to do the same, so like the same thing with Nick, so Nick believes certain things that 
would just which make the Jews so like if you believe the Jews control power like if you genuinely believe that mm -hmm. that's that's a bad thing to say about Jews if it's a lie I mean either way whether or not it's true or false it makes the Jews look bad so but he genuinely believes it's true and he's like we should address what's true and he's like say trying to say like I'm trying to say controversial points because I believe it's true let's address them and for trying to address them I feel like he's being censored and I have a lot of empathy for that considering that's how I felt during COVID that being said obviously I want the best for my Jewish family and I don't want this and, that, and that's actually more to my point like I think it's really negative for Jewish people to set to be encouraging of censoring. Like, I don't think it's just Jewish people that censor, and that was something that Hunter got mad at me, and I, I don't believe that. But organizations, including the ADL, I think make it look bad, make it look like Jewish people are trying to censor Americans for the sake of protecting Jewish people, but I don't think censorship is good. What brings, uh, what what's d the best disinfectant for bad ideas is sunlight. Censorship. Oh, yes, censorship. You caught me. Um, yeah. So I, <clears throat> um, I don't necessarily disagree with you about the censorship thing, but do you ever worry sometimes that maybe you're a little bit too empathetic and it's inhibiting your ability to see if somebody might be like a bad faith actor? Like I think the main criticism. I don't criticisms... know. I'd like to get to know him better, Nick. Sure, I think the, hey, Nick, the, what's up? the main what's criticisms up? of Fuentes aren't just that he's like asking tough questions. Like, have you ever met somebody that's like asking tough questions, but they're not really asking questions at all? They probably kind of sort of seem to have their mind made up and then they just use the asking. Yeah, so he's biased. And you, so one of the things that you like talk about, I've heard you talk about, is about how you recognize your bias and you write it down and you go through this whole process and you're willing to look at the other side. That's and that's something that you actually have to consciously do and like want to do and it's something that's rare and not everybody wants to do that and it's a difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. So you're putting Nick to the, your same standard and I don't think that's fair. Wait, well what I'm trying to show is that like um, regardless of standards or whatever, <laughs> I know not everybody can live to my standards too, obviously. Mm. But um, And he's also much, not much, but he's younger than you. He's much younger. He's he a is child. much younger. I know, he's, he's like, a little child, and I feel like... What is he, 25? He's 20, I heard he's 24, the sweet baby, the sweet little virgin baby. How old is oh, Nick just... Fuentes? 24 years old. What a, what a child. It's... Oh, my God. I think that the... Um, I think that the issue... People got so mad at me for... How could she say anything about relationships if she's a virgin? She admitted it on Fresh and Fit. You did admit it. I did admit it. Oh. Um. Continue. You were going to say something to cut you off. I'm sorry. Yeah. I hate when people do that to me, and I do it to people. It's all good. It's such a... It's, it's so bad. So, yeah. And then also people were talking about the Xena... Uh, yeah, wait, uh, you're just coming off again. What? Ever saying you hate how much people... No, you weren't saying anything. There's well, a Well, I was about to. Okay, go ahead. I was waiting for you to finish. I'm done. I'm done. Just, just trying to fill a lull. If you, you want to come back, go on. Okay. Am I... Do I have space? Am I okay? Um... Uh, no, actually, I really just wanted okay. to take a moment <laughs> okay, 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 of okay. silence. For... I think that the, the issue that people have is when people use what appear to be forms of motivated reasoning, then it makes you wonder if they actually genuinely care about a certain thing because of facts they've discovered or if they've only discovered certain facts because of a feeling about a thing. Like, let's say somebody comes into a room and they're like, I don't like black people, especially because all of them are nine feet tall. Like, and that makes me hate black people. <laughs> okay. And then you talk to the person and then you show them if you're black and they're like, look, they're not all nine feet tall. So the first thing you're gonna think is like, okay, it's kind of weird that he thought that when that fact is not even remotely true. So it's kind of weird that he had a very strong feeling about them based on a fact that's not true, but fine, whatever. But then once you show him that fact, then he's like, okay, it's not about them being nine feet tall. Um, it's about the fact that 99% of them have committed homicide. And it's like, well, that's not true. Okay, well, it's about whatever, right? When you no, see like the I jump to jump to, like when you see that. the jump to jump from reason to reason, I, I'm just explaining okay. the motivated reasoning part, okay? okay? When you see that jump from motivated reasoning, you would agree that a person like that, it feels like they, yes. they, it's not like they, oh, he just happens to think this. It seems like there's something deeper at play, right? Yes, I'd agree. Yeah. I think the problem with Fuentes is that when he gets pushed on different parts of his rationale, um, rather than accepting that he might be incorrect about something, 
he just he, the conviction that he has for that end belief is the exact same, and he'll just jump to another point. Okay, and that is a problem with like if you're in a debate space, if you and that's one of the things that you talked about with the abortion ladies. They had a lot of stake. Like obviously, they can't change their opinion if their whole like life surrounds one thing. So if it, his whole life surrounds the idea that the Holocaust didn't exist and Hitler's God and whatever and Christ is King and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, not all that shit. I'm sorry. That was disrespectful to the Christian crowd and also my father, who's a Catholic. So, love you. I'll pray for you. Okay, go ahead. Pray to who? <laughs> Yahweh or Jesus Christ? I'll pray to God. I'll pray to God okay. yeah, for you. Right. It's all pray the really same. Well. Yeah, okay. Okay, but go ahead. Uh, I, I just feel okay. Here's another thing. I just feel like he is stuck in this echo chamber because of the censorship. You're hold like you're holding him to this standard. You're like, okay, well, so right, right. What I was saying with these women who they're stuck in their position, he's stuck in this position. He has this whole thing, mm-hmm. right? So it would be scary to confront that and just change drastically. But then when you're also pushed away so quickly from people and told, okay, you can't talk to me because you're an anti-Semite. You can't even talk on YouTube at all. In fact, you can't even, not only can you not have a channel, you can't come to our functioning channel to talk about your ideas because you're so toxic. I mean, I think that's a really disenfranchising thing to do to people. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I don't necessarily disagree, but right now, you're just giving really good reasons why he might be anti-Semitic, which is okay and uh, understandable. Yeah, he might be anti. Uh, yeah, he might be anti-Semitic. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, like, because right now, because I but don't I, wait, 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 I wait, wait, wait. I don't disagree no. with anything that you said, which that doesn't mean anything. Okay. Right. If you ask, an, a I think that does mean something. I think if okay. Wait, I think wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Neither of us believe this. Okay? No. No. I disagree. No. 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 Let me just it's such a simple thing. Mm. Okay. If you're de- trying to determine if a person is X, like, are you usually relying on them saying they're X? Like, for instance, if I'm trying to figure out if a person is Jewish, is the fact of them being Jewish or not, whether they say they're Jewish, or how about racist? Are, Depends, is if they're it, a vegetarian, they'll tell you right away, or if they ran a sure, marathon. Sure, but, but that's, not, that's never the case. We never just use what a person says they are, unless that's in the absence of any other piece of data, right? But we never say that because you say you're a thing. Or do you believe that like trans people are no. trans because they say they're trans? No, no, right? like, okay, I, I do agree with that point. The point okay. that I was trying to make though is that you do have the extremists, like the ex- so extremists that they openly say, I'm a Nazi, I hate black people, I hate Jewish people, and that's me, hi. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. And, they, and they're happy. I'll let you do that really quick. I'm fine. Okay. And they're happy being the racist fucks that they are. And so I feel like that is one step beyond Nick. Nick is at least afraid to say I'm an anti Even if he is an anti-Semite, he's at least afraid to say it. So I agree there are some people. And so there's like a step further that he could go. And I was happy to see that he wasn't happy to claim the anti-Semitic label. He wasn't happy to... When I asked him, do you like Jews? He's like, yeah, I like Jews. I don't dislike people. I don't have a hateful thing. I don't dislike black people. And I was like, you know what? He could be lying about that, but at least he's not claiming that. And this is supposed to be... You know, he could say whatever he wants at this point. So he has some reason to deter himself from saying that. And I can appreciate that. And I feel like I could come to him on some level. And... You know what? I might be a Jew and he might be an anti-Semite, but at least he's not claiming it. Okay. So you can say he's not claiming to be anti-Semitic, but that doesn't have anything to do with whether or not he is anti-Semitic. It might make him slightly mm. less anti-Semitic, like a really racist person might say, hey, yeah, I am racist. Okay, but like so a person who says, scale. I'm not racist, might still be racist, right? They just don't want to like own the label of being racist for a variety of good reasons. And sure. we can think of like a lot of um, tangential reasons why Fuentes might not want to like openly own the label of being anti-Semitic. Why? Wouldn't that help him with his organization the way it is to Because own Nick that doesn't want to be a far-right niche extremist forever. He wants to break into more mainstream audiences. That's why AFPAC happens. That's why he's trying to recruit mainstream Republican lawmakers to his cause and everything, right? 
Like he doesn't want like I don't it probably follow him that closely. Sure. Well, he did that for AFPAC. He got I think he got who was it? He got one at least one Republican lawmaker um, from the House I think to actually do a speech of that thing who ended up disavowing him. And I don't think Nick likes to be disavowed by every political figure that he meets. It happened with Donald Trump as well, where Donald Trump had to disavow him. Yeah, don't, Donald Trump disavowed him. Yeah. And, so Nick and is and probably so and Nick is probably hold on wait 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 wait. So Nick does have a big incentive not to just openly say I'm anti-Semitic. Okay. That would probably be retarded, right? Okay. So I don't. So I Has don't think. Has he ever, at any point, claims that label? I don't know, and I don't care. But that, but that's just not a thing that I would ever like use to determine if somebody's anti-Semitic. Is whether they say they're anti-Semitic. Mm. That would never be a factor. Even if he's just trying to get into this space for uh, motiv- self-motivated reasons or selfish reasons, he's still trying to get away from that space. Like, why not accept him? Oh, getting Big, away from the space. Hold on, we're not. That's a fundamentally separate question. We're just focused right now on the anti-Semitic thing. I'm just trying to say that. I, wait, are we? Am I supposed to be arguing on the behalf of Nick Fuentes whether or not he's anti-Semitic? Because I don't. No, feel no, like no, that's no. A, we haven't even gotten to that part of the I don't argument. Wait, 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 wait. We have that situation. Yeah. I don't want to argue that because no, no. I won't. I understand. Win that argument. Sure. <laughs> But we haven't even gotten to that part of the argument yet. I'm just saying that it's an absurd statement to say, I know they're not X because they said they're not X. When one, you would never use them saying it as evidence that they are that thing. And two, they might have reasons to say they're not, especially if they are, right? Like for instance, if a guy picks you up for a date and the first thing he says is, I want you to know I'm not a rapist. (laughs) Are you using that as evidence that he's probably not going to rape you? And then if you and if you get raped, and then later on your friends are like, "Well, what happened?" and you go, "Well, as soon as he picked me up, I just want you to know the first thing he told me was he's not a rapist, right?" They would probably look at you and they say, "That's probably not a smart, like, thing to use to determine if he is or isn't a rapist." We wouldn't go by what he says, especially if he has that's a such an extreme example. That's such a creepy thing. We're literally talking okay. about fucking Nazis. <laughs> of course, we're using extreme examples. What do you mean? What? <laughs> get in the car. No. Get in the train car. <laughs> that's that's where Nick wants you guys to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look. Um, I just want it. I just Whoa, wait. Before we jump on, I'm just getting. I just want us to hammer home this point that whether or not somebody says they are or are not anti-Semitic or a Nazi isn't probably going to be much of a big factor in determining if we think they are or are not a Nazi. That's all I'm trying to get at. No, because there's no. I don't know any rapist. I do know Nazis and racists who openly claim they're Nazi and racism, and those are usually the most extreme ones. Sure, but you could know, be a less extreme. Hold on, hold on. I don't know right. any rapists who are like, yeah, I'm out here raping bitches. Like, I don't know. No don't one's know. ever pled guilty to rape before? That is so different. That's You're saying a I'm a rapist. Because you are in a court system in which you are incentivized to admit to it in order to get a lesser sentence. And you know that, and I know that, and what you're about playing the, dumb. What about, no, hold on, I'm not playing dumb. Mm. You're playing dumb by saying that whether or not somebody mm. says they are no, or aren't something I is it? I want to give him, so, no one gives him any benefit of the doubt whatsoever. First of all, the, stop, uh, hold first, on. You're mm. talking to the guy that gave him a more benefit of the doubt than literally any other motherfucker on the entire That's internet. That's true, why the fuck am I saying that? I literally yeah. don't know anything about this You're going full sneak on me right I've now, heard, okay? Everything yeah, I'm saying it with such confidence. Because I gave Nick <laughs> a ton of benefit of the doubt before he got hooked up with the weird Kanye shit, okay? Wait, I like Kanye. What's wrong with Ye? He's also I like ye. <laughs> insanely anti-Semitic. I like the whole like black math. No, I, he, you know he called a rabbi right after that interview to say like, oh, I'm spreading the word of love. You can love everyone, even Hitler. And it's like, oh, shit, Kanye. <laughs> like, that's not the message that people are going to get from that. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> okay, so, okay. I just want to establish that, so we agree then that somebody simply saying they're not anti-Semitic. No, we don't agree, because rapists don't go around being like, yo, I be raping bitches. Rapists don't do that. Sure, but to determine if somebody is or isn't a rapist, we would just figure out, like, There's whether or no, not they like, rape people. Like, There's for no, instance, like, is there, is there... of racist with, like, hoods that, like, make, like torches it's not like a thing of race where there is like a thing of racist sure, there's like a but that's whole not, clan that's fine that's not relevant to the analogy what i'm just saying is that it's very relevant it's to the not analogy. relevant oh my what God. i'm saying is that people we would never look at what somebody says they are to see if they are the thing generally what people just take me at face value that i'm a jew i could be lying hold on only what wait 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 wait, wait. what did i say before only i'm not jewish i'm a hundred percent italian only in the absence of other data only in the absence of other data let's say that you were let's say that you had a hundred people standing in front of a whole bunch of clansmen and all of them said i'm not jewish would you instantly assume they must not be (laughs) Or would you say, well, maybe there's an incentive okay. to lie here? I'm not 
saying that there's no incentive to lie, but we can maybe look at these incentives. Maybe these incentives are good. Maybe these incentives are getting him away from this. As you said, he has some reason to get away from this posturing. Maybe in terms of getting away from this, he'd have to resolve some of his conflicts that you've. So he sure. has. Some I don't necessarily in disagree. His head, yeah, I don't necessarily and he would disagree. Need to get away from those beliefs. I don't necessarily so maybe disagree. Look okay. into those beliefs sure. more. So. Uh, how, okay, don't put me in the position where I have to say he's not an anti-Semite. I didn't even, I, we didn't even get there yet. I'm just trying to establish that just because somebody says they're not something doesn't mean they're definitely just, not I something. St- okay, it doesn't mean they're definitely not something, but it's better than... All I'm saying is it's better than them proclaiming it. And I'm saying Maybe. that we have a step... At least we have a step in the right direction with him. He's not proclaiming Maybe, it. Maybe, unless they're using that just to expand their audience, and then they still spread anti-Semitism. Even if there's no, even if there's some sort of an, uh, selfish motivation or purpose, ask Ayn Rand. Everything has a selfish motivation or purpose. Okay. Well, <laughs> I love how nobody can name a female philosopher the other night. I should have named Ayn Rand because I was a huge objectivist fucking cuck in high school. I kept saying Simone de Beauvoir because I did like a project on her when I was younger. Cringe. But, cringe. You were just naming irrelevant women. Like, She's not uh, irrelevant. She fucked um, like that, Sart, that right? Amy chick, whoever you were talking about. Amy. <laughs> yeah, Amy. Who's Amy? Our good friend, the judge. Okay. Amy Barrett. I'll just, uh, you'll tell me later. I don't know. Wait, the Supreme Court Justice. Oh, Supreme, oh, Amy Coney Barrett. Oh, my God. Oh, my. You're just making up names that don't exist at this point. Wait, wait, I did I say Amy? Did I say just, the wrong name? No, 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 no. You just said Amy, though, and I was like, who's Amy? And then, uh, I don't know. I was just thinking, like, <laughs> YouTube world. I wasn't thinking, so for, uh, Amy, I at least, oh, no. okay, on the fucking <laughs> show, I said Amy Coney Barrett. Okay, I need uh-huh. the Full fucking name. Okay. And I know her on a first name basis. You know, oh, big okay. right. We hang out a lot. You know. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Fine. Okay. Jesus Christ. You're just making up names who don't exist. <laughs> I love Sneeko now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I asked Nick on the show. Mm. I said. Um, I know. I heard that. Yeah, I said, what do you think we should do with the Jews in this country? No, 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 I didn't hear that. And he said we should take all their property, take all their businesses, and remove them from positions of power. Does that sound a little bit anti-Semitic, or? Okay, so I'd like to see, can can we find the full clip here? Does anybody have the full clip of that? I'd like to see the full clip. Okay, but no, no, you already asked him to rematch debate earlier, and he said no. Who? Or wait, about what? On wait. the couch at Fresh and Fret. Oh, okay, yeah. Doesn't he, don't you think that's kind of weird? Shouldn't he want to, like, rehash his points over and over again if he's correct about things? Would you want to rehash the abortion debate? Yeah, I already agreed to debate the Lily girl again. Um, Why would you ask me that? I make my living rehashing debates over and over again. Mm, okay, because you didn't seem... I don't know. But yeah. also, but then there's also a difference, too. If I had the chance to rehash a debate on a large platform, yeah, of course I would. Like, am right. I, do you think if Joe Rogan invited me to do an abortion, I'd be like, ah, oh, abortion. I don't know, Joe. I'm going to have to take a rain check. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Depends what's going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fight Xena. You hear? When you, um... Yeah, what are you doing for that? Well, okay, we're trying to decide whether it's going to be like a cook-off, something like feminine, which, you know, whatever. Or if it's going to be a like... Cook-off. A cook-off? I thought you guys were going to fight. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Like in a ring with like boxing gloves and like it all. I don't know. But the conservatives say that's like naughty for girls to fight. And my dad says always never fight ugly or crazy. Now, she isn't ugly. She isn't. But I think she's a self-admitted crazy. And I, I feel that. I feel that. But, um... Have you trained at all in fighting? Like, 10 plus years ago. 10 plus years? What did you train? Like, military, briefly. Like, I was in... I went to the Air Force Academy. So you did, like, basic training? And SEER and ESAT. Oh, do you... In the forest, do you fight trees? (laughs) Bruh, they give you no food. Do you know how hungry you are? They give you, like, a rabbit. You have to kill it. Ew. yeah, it's no shot. I, you killed a look, rabbit and you I made food out of it. I swear to God, I look it up. I fucking did. You eat the eyeballs, electrolytes. Yo, no I shot. I swear to God. No, I swear to God. Zero chance Bruh. that you ate rabbit eyeballs. Bruh. 
Oh my god, I want to hang out with you and Mark. Like, he eats the wildest shit. And then he just expects everyone around, my friend Mark, he just expects everyone around him to just, he took me to Ethiopian food once, you would die. You would die. It was fine. He, he says everyone loves it though. Okay. Wild. They do not. I think they're lying to me. Um, okay, so you agree Nick is anti-Semitic? No, oh my god. I'm not gonna say he's anti I I'd like to get to know him more. I'd like to, and also I'd like to give him a chance to, I would like to give him some f***ing breathing room. He's a kid, and I'd like to, he, I, and also he's clearly a little bit addicted to social media, and part of that is chasing likes, which, ex which forces you into extremism. Not being <laughs> a Nazi. I mean, like... It kind of does! Really? Kind of. Look at some of his... Okay, so do you... Okay, do you know the John Wayne Gacy guy? Or is it John Gacy Wayne? The murderer? Yeah. I think so. The, do you, okay, he murdered do you feel, like, people. sympathetic for him? Because he was, like, I think abused as a kid or whatever? Would you, like, make the same set of excuses? Like, well, he had a really rough upbringing, and I think his I dad think was abused. I do, like, a defense attorney, right? So I guess I would have to if I was his defense attorney. Sure, but I feel like at some point, even if these things were all true, you would probably say, like, yeah, like, we can be sympathetic towards him, but, like, it's still, like, harmful that he's, like, murdering people. <laughs> That's probably not I, a good am thing. Am I supposed to say he's not harmful at all? Like, I don't rem recall ever saying that he's not harmful at all. And I did say his ideas are harmful to Jewish people. And I'm like, that's not good. However, I don't think he's doing it in bad faith. Okay, so he I'm might be a, in, he might be a Nazi doubt, in good faith. I mean, that's possible. I mean, sure, I'll grant you that if you want to. I guess it's better than being a Nazi in bad faith. Imagine only being a Nazi for the clicks and views. Wouldn't that be way worse than being a Nazi in good faith? And then you could at least come to the other side eventually. I mean, I'm, I don't know, actually. I don't think about that one. Um, Have you seen the Key and Peele on Nazis? Key and Peele are Nazis? Key and Peele. Is they're, it like like, they're like in white face and then Nazi comes and they're like, oh, we're looking, we've heard some Negroes come and they like, do all these stupid like Nazi tests and they're like Negroes ill in white face. I have not seen this skit yet. It, it sounds... is pretty funny. Okay. I'll check it out after the stream, okay? Yeah. Um, oh, I don't think it's like YouTube. It's like definitely on YouTube. Okay. Um what else? Mm, no, that's it. Well, my life's pretty boring, I guess. That's wow, it? way to summarize my life in like the most boring. Well, wow, I'm not trying to see what else. <laughs> what, like 20 minutes? Listen. What else is up with your life, you boring? I'm ass just saying. Bitch. Well, what, I'm, no, no, what else do you want to talk Jesus. about on this vein of chatting as well? Um, okay, so fight off or cook off? What would you rather see? I obviously I'd rather see fighting. <laughs> yeah, you said that already. Yeah, so what, what do you, I mean, yeah, obviously. What do you mean? Okay, mud wrestling or boxing? Boxing. Duh. I want to see somebody get the shit beat out of him, okay? Why are you laughing so much? Because you already told me backstage that you think Zeno would win, so you're basically telling me right now that you want to see me get my Listen, yes, but you are, you are very confident. Oh. Stop. Oh you are very confident that you would win that fight, which I think is interesting. So I'm just, I just wanted to <laughs> see. You want to see me get my ass? No, once? I want to see you. Wow. I just want to see you win and wow. do. Here I thought we were kind Alive, of what's friends. Up, guys? Wait, what am I getting linked this? Why is Brandon linking me this whole fucking thing? Is this? How to escape the heat if you don't this have an air? This is the one before the. That was the one where the lights went out. I think. Oh, 44 minutes. Okay. Get ready. How to escape the heat if you don't have an air conditioner. How do you not this only takes five minutes. Premium. Ty That's how do you, wild. How do you oh, want? rumble. It's rumble. Yeah. Jeez. Of course I have YouTube premium. It's wild. <clears throat> do I have a screwdriver? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe because of all pocket. your... Maybe if you're Air Force so you training, you carry <laughs> around tools with you or some shit. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck I, you think Air Force pilots have room in their, like, blues pants to just carry around I don't screws? Know. No. I don't care. Fuck Air Force. Fuck. One of the best books everyone should read. It's called Jewish History, The Weight of 3,000 uh, Years by Israel Shehak. He was a I'll professor at the Hebrew University in Israel. So wait, do you not dislike Jews? No. So, I love everybody. Okay. So you I wouldn't like label yourself an anti-Semite? No. no wait, I'm what would you do to Jews everyone. in the United States, though? I would, you were, I would not have them in positions of power. Oh, how did I not hear that? 
I was literally fucking sitting there. Like, I thought you meant, like, on a different fucking stream. I was literally... <laughs> I'm sitting right there. And so you're many you're looking at I'm him. Looking at him. Sometimes I'm just like. Okay, hold on. Let's keep going. Off. Hold uh, on. What, what does that mean? Would you take their businesses from them, seize their assets, remove them from Hollywood? Can I, can have them answer to Christians. Can I, can what does I, that mean? Hey, hold on, Destiny. There's a reason Christians. why you won't answer. Hold on, Destiny. Right. Destiny. <laughs> just answer. Can I ask? Can I ask Destiny something? Destiny on the mic. You? And then Zerka bails him out from a killer okay, line wait. of questioning. Okay. That was a killer yeah. line of questioning, by the way. Zerka to derail like a brain dead cokehead retard here. But sorry, go ahead. What? Why are you being mean to Zerker right now? Because I don't, I didn't like that he was here for any of these conversations. But Myron said he had to be so. Okay, all right. You call, you were meaner to him than I was. Why are you? Yeah, but like I, I'm not anybody. Like, like except for he follows me on Twitter. You wow, know. aren't you cool? I am cool. Cooler than you. Just follow you. I don't know. Probably whatever. I don't okay. think about it. <laughs> I'm gonna stream with him after this. You go for it. He's probably in town still. I bet if you DM'd him, he would. Mm, I doubt it. You, you want to bet? bet? Okay, let's see. Wait, we have to bet first. What are we gonna bet? I don't have money. Don't don't bet me something where you have infinite. And I have like very limited. I don't. You're very face. limited. Limited. How many years of generational wealth have your people built up, and you have no money? Okay, Hollywood's been really struggling for my people right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like all oh, of our wait. slaves are on. Oh wait! Hold on! Don't escape. <laughs> So you admit, okay, Fuente <laughs> said he would take all their shit and remove them from positions of power. Yeah? Does that sound a little bit anti- does that, is that like a point in the anti-Semitic comment? <laughs> At least a like a half a tally, maybe? Okay. Okay. Um, does he mean by, like, voting them out? By showing that the yeah. people that are currently in place oh, are corrupt? Yeah. I don't know, I'd yeah. like to pry True. further. True. True, Lauren. You're you're really, so good I faith. Really, I love how good no, faith this you is, are. I have uh, to bend over a little bit now in order to Do you think to, that like, when he him. says when he says answer to Christians, do you think that that's like in a voting way? Is that what that sounds like? I do think that he is a little, <laughs> a little heavy-handed with the holding Jews accountable for the world's problems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thousand percent. But he does believe it. Oh. Okay, wait, Zerka. That's the same. Hey, sexy. When can I come over? He'll know what I mean. If you DM him that, he's gonna <laughs> legitimately think you would have come over immediately. <laughs> but <laughs> good job. <laughs> Zero shot here's once. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Actually, he's probably still sleeping now, but... Like a virgin. Um, okay, what else? You're gonna box Cena. You're gonna win, because you're so much taller, you said. I am! I have, like, a full foot on her. Okay. I probably weigh more than her. How much do you think I weigh more than her? She's, like, the same skinniness. She's much more muscular, though. Okay. Which is not good for a whole boxing thing. But I still think I got several pounds on her. It's gonna help me for the momentum thing. The inertia thing. The basic physics of it all. Yeah? Yeah. Plus, I think I could take a punch harder than she can for some reason. I really feel like I could. I mean, she has prison years, right? Mm-hmm. She's scrappy. What's your fighting experience again? Um... One time on the streets of Boston, I got my ass beat. By who? You remember you watched that video? People Wait. sent it to you. It's like, beware, she's a racist oh, and maybe. a terrible person. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, are we waiting for me to say something right See? now? Or you just say, oh. What? We should do an online date. You could chat for him. What, you and Fuentes? Mm hmm Oh, yeah? Are you going to figure out if he's actually anti-Semitic or not? Yeah. Okay. Like, I think it is hard to say a point, but Jew is... Uh, sorry, but Nick isn't... Nick isn't encouraging people to murder Jews. Mm, or No, just, like, remove them from all their positions of power and then have them answer to Christians. What do you yeah. think that could mean? Like, does he want to enslave Jews? Because that would be anti-Semitic. Like, <laughs> but, like, I don't even understand that because, like, he would... 
if he believes in the whole genetics thing and like we could look at IQ tests, wouldn't we be as Jewish people higher IQ than him most likely and therefore <laughs> like maybe we What accorded. deserve to be better? No no no, just like it would make sense to have like a higher slightly higher percentage. I don't know. Bruh, I don't know. Like, it, like it, it, there seems to be logical fallacies, and I think if someone were to nicely point out that there's logical fallacies in his belief system, you could debate him out of his anti-Semitism. You think? But nobody is able to debate him because he's like in a private space. And then when you do try to debate him, it's like all conspiracy theories that you've never heard of before because he's in like a, a little echo chamber by himself that you never hear because none of his conspiracy theories make it to Twitter or Instagram because because they're not allowed. Whereas, like, I feel like so for instance, like the conspiracy theory about uh, vaccines being uh, uh, what's it called? Um, magnetic. Like, I'm glad that people saw it so that other people could quickly refute it. Or that Sharpies caused, you know, the election to be overthrown in Arizona and like shit like that. Like, I, like I'm glad that it was talked about so it wasn't just like a small group of people like and that made it to the court system or something more serious. Mm hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good for the things to be talked about, but that's like a fundamentally different type of question than like, is somebody a Nazi or anti-Semitic? Right? I don't know. I'm just trying to give them the benefit. I just feel like people have a given. I'm. I don't really know the background. I don't know the lore. I know that he was mean to you, right? He He's said, a mean guy. Yeah. He. But they do that whole side of the internet does like a ton of. I'm sorry. You should be. They do like a ton of infighting and everything over there. So. Did you fight with them? Uh. Well, I can't infight because I'm an out group person. So. Oh, like, oh, okay, I like see. All like, the Nazis all fight like, with all each other. Like, all fucking fight with each other, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Like... What do you mean like, what I mean? Like, you're talking about the Fresh and Fit Sneako group? No, 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 no. Like, Fuentes, Ali Alexander, Milo Yiannopoulos. Oh. Um, all you think of Milo is a um, Nazi type guy? The, no, like, far right, like, alternative, like, far right people. He is alternative. Yeah. He was, like, a Christian nationalist, which is about as, almost as far right as you can go, right? I don't know. I like him, though. Milo Yiannopoulos? I just think he's an interesting character. He's interesting, but interesting yeah. and like are, I think, are two different things. But Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What else? So much pressure on me to bring my, like, um topics at hand aren't well, you you're the, the one that live what's up guys welcome I'm to the first podcast what? after our edition with some lovely ladies destiny zirka and some Hold other on. people that are unnamed well, let's right, let's ask in the end. I, I, do you think when well, i'm curious do you think soviets were killed in the holocaust or did they make that up too like i said i don't believe in the holocaust like like I said, I don't believe in the Holocaust. And then again, earlier he prefaced that statement with how he thought the Holocaust went down, and it wasn't that the ghettos didn't exist, and it wasn't that certain things Wait didn't problems. exist. It was that Try he this simple think ice that hack. gas chambers occurred in the Holocaust. So he thinks the, the entirety of the Holocaust is just gas chambers? No, no, no. I think that was a bad phrasing. I think that's out of context because like, he said, like I said earlier. Oh. Literally in that fucking clip. Like I said earlier, and earlier he had. Ethical. Said, Okay, let's back up a little bit. Maybe I messed that part. No, no, but earlier in the fucking show. Let's just listen about the Holocaust for a minute. Hold let's on, hear, okay? Let's hear it. Because okay. you're a I identify yeah. as he, yeah. he, the superior gender. <laughs> but if Nick had that position as a Palestinian, you wouldn't give him shit. You're giving him shit because he's white. I'm giving him shit because he's an American in the United States of America where we're supposed to uphold some sort of like, yeah, liberal democracy with some values that go along with it, like not discriminating against people's race or religion. But well, that's I'm an also, American. That's what we do in the United States. I guess. Sorry, wait, 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 to to finish, escape. Go ahead. Go ahead. Religious persecution. That's how the U.S. God, this girl was so based. I hated that she didn't come back the second time. She was my queen, and you were just. You just thought she was hot. What? You just thought she was hot. She is hot. She is, she but she also hot. did opera. She did music. Opera. She's, She's like an yeah. actress, and she was my only ally here in a sea full of two country women. I started. Yeah, it's sure, and the idea of like quoting some rabbi who's like, it's antithetical to the liberal world order, we should defend these values, that's not surprising at all, given the fact that the Nazis were defeated by the liberal world order. Of course, it was the United States that defeated the Nazis and ended, I guess you don't think the Holocaust is real. Um, I, do you think, when well, I'm curious, do you think- Notice how he doesn't, notice when I say that he doesn't say anything? 
Like, if somebody said, like, yeah, Destiny, you thought the Holocaust isn't real, I probably wouldn't just sit there <laughs> silently. Actually, that's really an interesting point that you mentioned that, because that is something that can be used in a legal argument as evidence, because, like, some people think, like, the lack of an answer can't be brought in as evidence, but if somebody clearly heard something and had the opportunity to respond and didn't respond, that could be brought in as evidence. That's true. I think that's very interesting. There's times I think we're invoking the fifth, I think, can even be used against you, depending on... Um, mm. At what point in an investigation it happens, you like a refusal to talk to the police at certain points can actually be used against you um, in criminal proceedings. I don't remember when, but there was a hyper specific time this happened. Look it up. Soviets were killed that. in the Holocaust, or did the Nazis were defeated by the liberal world order. Of course, it was the United uh, States that defeated the Nazis and ended. I guess you don't think the Holocaust is real. Okay, there um, we go. I, do you think? When well, I'm curious, do you think Soviets were killed in the Holocaust, or did they make that up too? Like I said. I don't believe in the Holocaust. Look, I'm a Christian. So, so, Holocaust so the is not Soviet my Union that was Holocaust is not my religion. Okay, keep going. The enemy of the United States in the Cold War. They joined the U.S. in in perpetuating the myth of the Holocaust. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Nick, stop. <laughs> okay, Lauren. No, but he you are. These you are. Things. What were you listening to? Hold on. What were you? Can you look at this? Can you yeah. tell me what who you're looking at or listening yeah. to at this and point of the conversation? Head, in my head, I was going. No, I don't want to no scrub, scrub, let's go. Like, just a random shit was going off in my head. Okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. Right, wait, That's wait, not wait. Let's let him, let's I, let him, no, let him I, cook. Hold on. Maybe he's got something. Maybe I he's going to bring it back. This. He's going to bring I, it back. I remember, now that I'm watching this again, I did hear this. So go ahead. Okay. 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 Well, here's you the thing. That, I, I want to, uh, and Nick, please correct me if I'm wrong here. You're not saying it didn't necessarily, like, happen. It's just that 6 million didn't pass He's saying away. it was, like, 20,000. Yeah, well, not 20,000. He's warming. Hold on. It, uh, well, and I, tell me if I'm wrong here. Hold it's on. Not that six, it, it, your stance is. <laughs> so Myron's trying to bail him out. Good on you, Myron. Okay, Myron is doing your Myron. job. Yeah. Okay, Myron's trying to bail him out. Let's see how he gets bailed out. Hold on. <laughs> not six million died, and they weren't all Jews. There were people that died that were Russian, that were Polish, that were from different countries and nationalities and religions. Well, here's my position. My position yeah, is give that. Give it to the people. Yeah. And and here's because people misquote you. They said that you're a denier. I don't I don't know if you're a denier. Right. I'm more like a revisionist. <laughs> but what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep going. <laughs> what they say about a denier, it's three central claims. Six million died. It was a systematic extermination. They used gas chambers. Those are the three central okay. claims. Yes. I don't believe there were gas chambers. Okay. I don't believe it was six million. Okay. I also don't believe I think that there was fair. ever an order given out that said, okay, you know, we're going to kill them all. But he, okay, but he admits that there were ghettos. He admits that there were camps. He admits okay, that, so like, he, he says that there that are the three. General, he, he just says, says that there's he says, three he things, there's that three things. About the No, 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 that's not what he said. He said that when people talk about Holocaust deniers, there's three claims that they make. And I, I also. I saw a that said puncher. Are you going to punch me? Maybe. Come we'll see. It. Let's listen to it. He said. Yes. I don't believe there were gas chains. Denier. It's three central claims. My position yeah, is that. Give it to the people, yeah. And, and here's. Because they'll misquote you. They said that you're a denier. I don't, I don't know if you're a denier. Right. I'm more like a revisionist. But what okay. they say about a denier, it's three central. Here's what they say about a denier. Central claims. Six million died. It was a systematic extermination. They used gas chambers. Those are the, Those are the three things that deniers believe. That's what he says. And the then three he says. central claims. Yes. I don't believe there were gas chambers. I don't believe it was six million. He's saying, I, I don't, also don't I believe don't, I don't. that there was. Now, a yeah, he's saying, this is what they say the deniers believe. And I do believe all these three things. <laughs> so that and more. Ever but I would imagine that if you said, believe okay. these three things and you would find yourself, especially if you find yourself in an echo chamber, you'd also find things that support your unfounded positions. Maybe, but okay, let's keep going. Hold on. You know, we're going to kill them all. I think what do you that, think the real number is then, in um, your opinion? I don't know. I don't know what the... I haven't done enough research on it. Wild. Why? That was a wild answer. Okay. I now, remember when on, he wait, said wait, wait, that wait, 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 and I was wait. like, oh, what do you mean? Your whole business is doing research on it. But that also gave me hope. If he hasn't done a whole a bunch of research on it, guess what that means? Okay. Guess what that Lauren, means? Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. Remember earlier Destiny, when I Destiny, said, Destiny, Destiny. Lauren, remember Destiny. earlier when I said if a black person or somebody <laughs> said, I don't like black people because they're all nine feet tall? <laughs> Okay, he's saying he doesn't like he doesn't like Jewish people because they're six million graves deep. It's the same thing, Lauren. Okay, do you understand that he just did that thing? If somebody says I don't believe the official account of the Holocaust, like oh well, what do you believe? He's like I don't know, I haven't really researched it, but I know I sure as f don't believe the guys in the fucking hats. Okay, don't you think that maybe that's a little right. sus? Hold on. Yeah. You, okay. I'm go gonna, ahead. I'm gonna... Oh my God, your defense attorney is coming out here in full I think force. I might be what it is. Like I'm just like always defending people, and I'm like always you should, like, empathetic defend, to people. And you should I'm defend your to... people. And it, no, no, I do. Here's the thing, though. My people are always defending themselves, and I think it looks bad for my people to constantly be censoring people, which is what I try to. We're not talking Hunter. about censorship right now. No, no, or but or to never be able to like 
We're not talking about that either, whatever you were just about to say. I, no, I know a lot of Jewish people who wouldn't talk to Nick Fuentes. We're not we talking even... about whether Jewish people are talking to Nick Fuentes. We're talking about whether or not Nick Fuentes is literally just a Holocaust denier. He doesn't think there were gas chambers. He doesn't think an order was given. He doesn't think six million Jews died. He probably thinks what he believes, I can tell you what he believes. He thinks that Jewish people probably died because war is bloody yeah, and that's brutal. What he's t- yeah, he thinks yeah. the Dresden bombings were bad, the Tokyo fire bombings were bad. Jewish people died during World War II. But he there was never. that there were ghettos, though. Yeah, but there's ghettos all over the. We had concentration camps no, in the United States. No, forced ghettos. For, yeah, for and yeah, we had concentration camps that were bad to the Japanese people. But they weren't death camps, were they? No, and I think that's where he thinks. Like, and I, he's and also the ghettos weren't death camps actually. In World War II in Germany. So they so you got you went into a death camp and then you were put in a palazzo. I think it was okay, called. Okay, hold on. And then you were shipped to a camp which was separate sure. than the ghetto. Okay, hold on. In my this is my understanding, and I don't know not a lot. Okay, but my understanding is ghettos in World War II that one crime was essentially legalized yeah. against Jewish people, yeah. like pogroms and shit. So if you wanted to break into a Jewish business, still shit or whatever, number one. Number two, police aren't responding or helping with yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. The Gestapo might beat the shit out of you, see you and you could be, a, and you also wouldn't be provisioned with a lot of food. Yes. Like this. So yeah. they weren't, it wasn't just like, oh, it was, it was just a, like yeah. a ghetto. It wasn't, no, like the But Nick probably doesn't believe, been... Nick, Nick might not believe those parts of the ghettos. Okay. He just thinks they're, right, yeah, but. Anyway. No, I do defend my people. I just think a lot of people defend my people. Like a We're shit ton of people. We're not talking about that, sure. And I just want to give some leniency to a person who I feel like probably rarely gets never, especially from another Jewish person. And I had people who were pre- previously anti-Semitic. Okay, hold on. What do you think? Le- what morning, do you think? Let me finish my sentence. I had people as of this morning message me like, hey, I, I used to hate all Jewish people. It was nice seeing you on Fresh and Fit. It's made me like rethink some things. And like that's literally the whole point, right? Sure. But what do you think leniency? means oh like just give them the benefit of the doubt that not everything that they're trying to think that is, is correct giving somebody the benefit of the doubt is good okay yeah but at some point you can't like you there's no being lenient anymore but sometimes you're a snaky bitch no well you might be but that's not what i'm talking about right now yeah but what i'm saying is that like you can give somebody leniency but at some point there's so much compelling evidence that like well <laughs> you're like when he literally says i'm more like a revisionist <laughs> And when he says, I would take everything away from the Jews, and I don't believe the Holocaust happened, and I don't believe an order was given, and I don't believe gas chambers existed, like, that's a lot of leniency. Like, I think we're at beyond a reasonable doubt here for him being a Nazi. <laughs> I think we've, no, I think okay, we've hit so the threshold. Think, okay, so, like, let's say, let's say that we convinced him everything was true, okay? That the, everything did exist. Okay, would wait, he wait. then be for those things? No, would no, he no, be no. like, oh, you know what? Actually, now that I know those things existed, I am really against that. No, like, I don't it's, think. This is a super easy question to answer. You've heard the phrase before you can't reason somebody out of a position that you haven't reasoned them into, right? Mm-hmm. So he admitted himself, he doesn't know how many people died in the Holocaust. He doesn't even have a number. He hasn't researched it yet. Mm-hmm. So how can you show him research to move him out of position when it's clearly he's taken that position before doing any research on it? That's a good point, but like, let if I feel like if I were to put him in the hypothetical, like, okay, well, let's just have you assume the, the position that the Holocaust did in fact happen, and that people were murdered based off their ethnicity, and it's horrible. And would you be for that? And would you still praise Hitler? And would you still think that was a good thing that happened? I'd be curious to see what his answer was. And I, and I, well, I feel like on, if he was a true I Nazi, you, sure, I can give he you. would be for it. And I don't know if he's a true Nazi that would be for that. And Wait, I think he might say... Nazism is going to be based on factual claims. It's not just a blind hatred of the Jewish people. Like, so he would say that if those things were true, I probably would believe you, but that doesn't make him not a Nazi. Like, everything underneath Nazism relies on factual claims they make about the world. That Jewish people were expelled from every country because of their behavior. That Jewish people are the reason why a lot of countries experience turmoil, or they would take advantage of systems and hijack societies wherever they were. He would say it was a fact that the Holocaust was fake, that they utilized that as leverage in order to gain sympathy all over the world and put themselves in positions of power. So he would say, if you could disprove all of that, fine, I wouldn't believe in this anymore, but that doesn't make not a Nazi. These are the central truth claims to Nazis, right? The Bolshevik revolution and everything was caused by the Jewish people were in charge of like destroying the czars of Russia and shit. Like they think the Jews were in charge of all of that. So, okay. So, right. That would be motivation for the Nazis to do a lot of the horrible things that they did. So that would be motivation for the Nazis to have like hatred in their heart. Uh, However, I, I still would be curious if he would be pro like the murdering of people because of those reasons like the control and power 
and wealth. Well, r- right now, I think he pushes and, uh, more like yeah. political systems. He wouldn't say he wants people to be murdered. But if push came to shove, I'm sure he would support it if it was like them versus us, right. which is what they might believe at some point, right? Right, 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 right. The vocal fry is horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> it's a family affair. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> what um um what else? Uh. What else about our good friend Nick? <laughs> okay, yeah. Like I, I hope Jewish people don't think that like I'm trying to throw them under the bus because I'm not. I mean, they probably do think that. I bet there's That's a lot terrible. of Jewish people that are real upset right now. No, I'm trying to like bridge the divide between because there's clearly like a really. Uh, like I'm in a red pill space. There's a lot of people that hate women and that hate Jews in the red pill space. And I would like to bridge the divide between the Jew haters and the women haters and a Jewy woman, you know? Yeah, like we're not bad. And maybe if we're not bad, maybe we don't. And also I have no control over anything including my own life so like definitely not institutions of power (laughs) okay trust if i had control over institutions of power my life would be looking so much differently yeah yeah okay what else what else would you like to chat about um so much Okay, you link me. Okay, JSTL, shorts. I'll watch your rally clip now. Okay, hold on. We gotta. Thank you, dear chat. I love you. Even though they're hating me today because they think I'm an anti Semite Jew. I like my grandma survived the Holocaust. I just. And I believe her, obviously. One Dark Night is her book. I'm gonna, I'm, Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pimp out my grandma's book because she's a good lady and, you know. One Dark Night on Amazon, Rochelle Dreben. She's a lovely lady who survived the Holocaust, that thing that did happen, Nick Fuentes. That okay, how do you said. feel about, how do you feel about this? There's, I just want you to listen to something, okay? Okay, let's listen. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> it's okay, we're just. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I, I don't care, up. right liberalism, <laughs> left liberalism, got it. What? It's just a a speech by a good friend. No, 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 no. It's a speech by a good friend. It's it's chill, it's chill, it's chill. It's chill, it's chill. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. (laughs) I go. That's not in my vocabulary, okay? Satanism. Gone. Totally wiped out. I'm pro Satanism being wiped out. No, no, no. no, I think no. I'm religious. I'm, I'm for the, sorry for all your Satanist fans. The, like the people who want to have religious freedoms and for religious freedoms. That being said, like I would prefer if less people were praising Satan. Okay, go ahead. Okay, that's not what Satanism is, but okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, you know what else has got to go in a Christian society? <laughs> what do you think he's going to say, Lauren? If you had to guess, I'll give you two guesses. What do you think, what do you think he's going to say? Okay, my first guess is blue hair dye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's back up. Maybe. He might not say it. And at the end of the day, you know what else has got to go in a Christian society? This is a, this is a big one. This is a big one, okay? And this is going to be the controversial one, but this is the one, this is the only People one guessing, that yeah. hates Jesus in the world. Not Hinduism, not Islam, not Buddhism. But the other thing that's got to go from the public life at the highest levels is this Talmudic Judaism. I like the imagery in the back. What I find wild about this, though, what I do find wild about this is I'm really, really fervently defending his freedom of speech because that's what I care about. But that's so not much. what we're talking about yes, right now, but is that's it? That's what yeah. I want to talk about. And you're asking me what I want to talk about, and that's what I.
want to talk about. So but that's we what agree I want completely on that. So who cares? Okay, okay. Yeah. So that's what I care about. And it's interesting because he's so against the First Amendment. That's like the fundamental principles of the First Amendment is the freedom of religion. That is true because so guess what? Be These guys. Away. Oh my God. You just hit on an essential liberal talking point. Mm, fuck have you ever you. heard of the, uh, have you ever heard of the paradox of tolerance? Maybe. Go ahead though. There's an unfortunate reality that even in liberal society. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I already understand. <laughs> exactly. Paradox. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. People like Nick probably would get rid of freedom of speech. Absolutely. That's where I am. Let's go. To get oh, rid of well, free no, speech? No, 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 no. But I'm going to defend his freedom of speech to try to get rid of a freedom of speech. Wow. Brave. Okay. How would you describe this background, by the way? What do you think? Oh, it? I'm really into it. It's, well, we, unless they're bones. Are they bones? <laughs> Not into that. Okay. Is this supposed to be like a rib cage right there? Is it? Is I don't know. Let's check. Is Eugenia Cooney doing content creation with this? Stop. Okay. It's got to go. And that doesn't mean we're going to hurt anybody. We're not going to harm anybody. We love everybody. We love, we want, we love everybody? That's good. We're not going to harm anybody. True. Okay. All right. All okay, right. Okay. 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 People to convert, really, more than anything. Okay. It's but this country freedom is no and longer be held hostage by a small minority that doesn't even believe in the real God. That's just your yeah, one. Yeah, I, I don't think he's aware about who Jesus is. You know Jesus was a Jew, so, right? Yeah, but he, he was also killed by Jews, right? No, actually, that's a rumor. Wasn't he killed by the Romans? At the behest of the Jews. No, not really. He was turned over by... Um, Okay. The Romans were, Hold on. Like Didn't Pontius like, Pilate literally like not want to actually execute him? I wasn't there a time when Pontius Pilate said like you can't show me a crime this man has committed, and the Pharisees were like, "Kill him! He's a blasphemer." Oh, I'm totally pulling a sneaker right now. So <laughs> sure. I have more information on than I do. Uh, <laughs> fuck me! I don't know. I, don't know. I think that happened. Don't quiz me. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure, I'm pretty sure the Jews were framed for that. I, my mom told me the Jews true. were framed for that. <laughs> well, isn't the whole gospel? Isn't, you sound a lot like Nick Fuentes right now. Can you isn't like, the whole gospel like the Pharisees? Bit, isn't the whole gospel the Pharisees literally trying to trip Jesus up? Like when they go up to Jesus and like, hey, you know how you tell motherfuckers to donate money to God? What about their taxes, huh? <laughs> And then Jesus is then Jesus is like render unto Caesar what is his, right? It, wasn't that the whole story of the Pharisees? Or maybe that's like Christian propaganda. I've never they were always that. asking him questions, trying to trip him up or whatever, right? So maybe the Jews didn't like that he... I, I believe it's true that the Jewish people didn't like the fact that they considered him a false prophet. Okay. Right? Because otherwise they'd be Christian and following him. They'd be considering him a disciple, but they considered him a false prophet, and so they were trying to trip him up. Sure, maybe. Okay. Um, however... I, they're not the reason I don't think they had the power to cause his death it was the Romans who were in charge and the Romans were the ones who wanted him dead because he committed crimes against the society and then they what killed him what crimes did Jesus commit against remember. the Romans I don't fucking remember oh, okay. it was like a, the crime was blasphemy was like a, yeah, against was Jewish like a, people yeah it was something it was something maybe it was against the Jewish people maybe it was a crime against the Jewish people possibly but I don't you know I don't know I'd say I'm okay. totally playing a sneak good luck thank you the mission of our movement is Bad to make you. this Just country this a Christian country. The mission is to create a Christian... Do you think it's kind of weird that he says, like, peacefully? What do you think these are in the background? Like, how would you describe mm, them? Like, um... Those are uh, cryogenic no, 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 sleep no. chambers. I was thinking that they were makeup, like the like lipstick. Oh, okay, models. maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or right. oh, you know what? Scuba diving tanks. Oh, maybe, yeah. Fire uh, extinguishers. Okay, true. Future in our time. And we can do that. The only way we're going to do it is not by infiltrating, not by subverting, not by lying, which is what a lot of people do, are getting paid by the people that profit from this filth. The only way that we're going to make this happen is with the boldness of a real Christian. It's the only way. And here's the difference. The people that you see out there that I debate when I go on these shows, whether it's Destiny and his open marriage, Aww. or it's these girls on these shows Ew, and they talk about their marriage? baby daddies. What? Ew. You're gross. You know, know I'm in an open marriage. How would I be able to f*** your mom without it being a huge f deal if I was not in an open marriage? This is true. I was wondering. The difference has got to be this. We have got to be willing to die for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> With the bomb?
with all the scuba gear in the background. They must really want to go no, searching like, for I Atlantis. Think, as I said earlier about the Jewish people when it was a Nazi, like I do think it's admirable to stand for your position and like face of death. Like I think it's wow, admirable yeah. to. This is like the however, end of. However, obviously I'm not. For, this is the I last episode of Death Note. Okay, this is where you're standing in front of Nier with like the mountains of evidence, and he's like, "I'd like to see you talk your way out of this one," and you're like. No, like, I don't think it's admirable to think that to get rid of the First Amendment. He's for getting rid of the First Amendment, and that's, I think that's wild. If I didn't think that, I didn't know that about Nick. I would thought that he would be a supreme advocate of the First Amendment, considering his are First Amendment rights. Crazy how so. that works, huh? Isn't that crazy how so fascists, have, like, like don't, really, of... don't actually care about First Amendment protections? Hmm. It's that simple. That's we edited, have to right? He's not in front of a crowd that's like that cringe, is he? He's what? No, no, he's in front of a crowd. This is That's that cringe that like knows how to chant correctly. Yeah, what does it remind you of? What's a four-letter word? Cringe? No, that's not a four-letter word, but that's what it reminds you of. It's cringy. <laughs> it starts with a C. Mm, oh, you're very close. C, U, and You got like yeah. three of the letters there. Uh... When you have one charismatic leader standing in front of a bunch of people telling them that they need to be ready to die for their beliefs and they're all chanting a f***ing phrase. Oh, okay, <laughs> good job. You got it. Audits more wow. than they do because if there are thousands way and too long. millions way too long. And tens of millions and hundreds of millions of Christians ready to meet their final destiny, whether it's fire, death, whatever, and take it. Because we believe in God, then nothing can stop us and nothing will. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. <laughs> Culty. Yeah, he's it's super cringe. That's super cringe. That's wild. That's wild. <clears throat> um, so we've explored a little bit, a minor touch up of um our good friend Fuentes' history. Oh wild. So if somebody were to describe him as anti Semitic. Mm, 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 good points, good points. <laughs> Maybe you'll take a little bit of time personally okay. to reflect right. on it. Maybe you'll think a little right. bit. Maybe, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm still going to give him the benefit of the doubt in all places where it's possible. I would like to see him not be banned in speech, even yeah, though we're he, not talking about First Amendment. Bro, yeah, okay. is he an anti-Semite? I said I specifically didn't want to defend whether or not he's an anti-Semite because I would lose this argument, and now I'm losing this argument. Well, we're not losing like, it. I'm not. We're not even having hmm. that debate. I oh was, my God, wild! I was just curious. Yeah. But anyway, that's fun to us, yeah. <laughs> what else do you want to chat about, buddy? Oh my god. Um, I what love the okay. Fresh and Fit crew. And if I may or may not be blocked right now from ever returning to said podcast, I would just like to say that She's So Icy is so icy. And she's beautiful and I love her. Yeah. And and Zena, we're gonna fight and it'll be all good. Get it out of our system. And then I could come on Myron's podcast and do that legal. I wanna be on his he does like the true Fed crime. It. He does the true crime podcast. I wanna be on that. True. Especially because like I have a lot of green shit. You know he used to be a Fed, right? I'm for it. He worked for the Department of Homeland Security. For it. Um what do you think about Zerka's performance? Was that fun for you? Let's check my DMs. See if he ever is wanted to see if I'm gonna win this bet. No, gonna win this bet. We'll see. I think I was too mean to him on Twitter a month ago. It's you like, were mean to him on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, I don't think he takes any t of Twitter beef seriously. Oh, okay. So, you're probably okay. I don't know. No, he's interesting. He, uh, how did he do the other night? He was wilded. Uh, feel bad. He lost his Rumble, right? Or not Rumble, his uh, Discord? Discord. He lost his Discord. That sucks. Why did he lose his Discord again? Did you see the post where he posted the girl that he and then he's like, F this girl, and then she got bitchy, kicked her out? No. She was really nice, too. Damn. I don't know if that's not true. Actually, if it's not true, he's in for a wild lawsuit. 
I don't think he's not that yeah, stupid. Yeah, do you think so? I mean, that's defamation real quick. Yeah, saying that you fuck someone that you haven't. I feel like people are more keen to sue on like your side of the internet. I don't think it happens as much over here. I know, everyone sues and like, I have like this tiny, tiny, tiny community where like the biggest person has like 3,000 subs. Mm -hmm. And like everybody sues each other, but you already know that. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, over here, I don't think it really happens. Lauren's going to sue Destiny at some point, 100%. Do you think that's true? Like a million percent. Even if it's just for fun. Yeah? Yeah. Good practice. You have money. True. I don't... Oh, but you I would be like... You like, uh, I want to be like a pro se litigant or defendant or whatever. You're so going to do it? I get all the it. leniency. Yeah, and I can like shuffle my papers. And <laughs> That'd be such great content. It would be... Yeah, it'd be super fun. I'm gonna like file We should actually and stuff. figure out a, something to sue over and go do it just for fun. I feel like you run the risk of getting disbarred for that, <laughs> can't you? Uh, yeah, you don't want you. There is a thing about clogging up the courts. You're not yeah. trying to clog up the courts, but maybe we could go to like Judge Judy. Yeah. Yeah, we can figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna tailor this to my critique of you also with um, with your conversation with Nick Fuentes. Okay. Oh, cool. I, think, no. I think these dovetail. So the reason it came back up again was because he he had said that he didn't change his position during the course of that conversation. And one thing that I think that you don't always do exceptionally well, Ooh. Stephen, Ouch. Mm -hmm. the critique. He's saying you suck. He's saying I don't force concessions and force my opponent yeah. to acknowledge the concession in the eyes of the audience and I'll let them run away yeah. from a lost argument. Too and no, and especially in that, in that conversation what? with Nick Soft Fuentes. Soft landing? And I guess that's not really... It's not about a soft... Like first of all, Fuentes, Fuentes isn't looking for a soft landing, number one, because he's an actual sophist and then like cult ideology leader, so he's never looking to change. But the problem no, is no, if I, I get I, him on I, an I, argument, I, instead of making say, hold on, Nick. Right, remember when I was trying to drill him on that, like, what do you want to be done with the Jews? But then Zerka let him basically walk mm -hmm. away from it. Or when I asked Myron like 15 times for Nick Fuentes to give me his like, how did the Jews start the Gulf War? And I asked it over and over and over again and Fuentes wouldn't actually answer. Like, I need to do a better job at forcing the concessions. So like here's my, here's my take, Stephen. I think that people who want to give expansive answers where it's impossible to hit everything. Mm -hmm. And you were frustrated by that in the conversation with Yeah, Nick I Fuentes. said it. I fucking hate the way he answers questions. It's so yeah. annoying. And, it, and to a certain extent, it is impossible, especially with people who are not acting in good faith, which I think we're agreement that that of course, not. yeah you need to narrow the conversation what do you think is the because i asked myron because i think i did that at two points I was like listen can you he's got to answer the question it can't be this like 15 minute ramble for every single little point i bring up because it's impossible and then and i even have to come off because he just starts like bringing up like a whole bunch of random shit it's like just stay focused and it's irritating to me because like in my eyes i know how debate works and i know what people are doing when he does that in my eyes it makes him look incredibly weak because i know the reason why he wants to, anytime somebody asks you a specific question if you give a long and rambling answer it's because you don't have a good answer for the question but i think in the eyes of the audience it looks strong because he's just like rehearsing his whole speech every time i don't know how to make somebody like answer more swiftly i don't know what the the answer is to that yeah, I think that like, I think the criticism that I'm getting are fair because I sometimes lose the force for the trees, right? Sure. That, that's kind of the criticism and that I, everything I do is a question and everything is, is sort of done that style. And I hear that criticism a lot. I think you could use a little bit more Pisco energy in those conversations. <laughs> sure. Well, it's not so much Pisco energy as much as it is, I was just thinking like when you're in court in your line of questioning, you can short it down into yes, no question. So like if you're giving him space to do an entire spiel, then he's gonna do an entire spiel. But if you give very direct questions in which you try not to let him wiggle out of it, then he's not like a direct questioning. Yeah, so, but it's different so in court because I've got, you've got like a judge to keep things like in order. Like no, if the no, no, person I get that. is real, yeah. But you, there are direct questioning strategies that you could use. Yeah, but it too. also helps because like the witness on the stand is literally being like questioned and then cross-examined. Whereas like a person in debate is not like consenting to being like, like uh, for instance, you could be on the stand and the witness and never say like, I'm not gonna answer that. that's not a fair question. But in a debate, people can do that. Right? Sure, here's sure, example, sure, here's example. Still... Here's, yeah, go. Uh, so here's an example. Um, somebody could ask Nick. Nick, was Israel in favor of the Iran nuclear deal? Nuclear deal? Right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a question for him to, to first commit on what Israel's position was before you tell him what, what's coming next. And the answer is no, they weren't. Yeah, but I don't think you would ever answer that like that. Like, if you were to say, would he be? Would, do you think? Do you think Israel was in favor? Wait, 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 of that? Nick, answer anything else. Stop, yeah. stop, stop. Uh -huh. What was Israel in favor or against? 
the Iran nuclear deal. Well, what you got to understand is when we're talking about Iran and we're talking about Israel, there's a whole 20 year history between Israel trying to overthrow the Shah in Iran. Can you pinch your nose while you do that next time and it'll be more accurate? Was Israel in favor of the Iran nuclear deal or were they not in favor of the Yeah, like I feel like I did this with, I understand, I feel like I did this with the Gulf War thing a couple times and I feel like it was literally every single time he just wanted to do his thing. And I think I even appealed to Myron. I was like, you got to stick to the plan. Remember the plan. I guess I just repeat it over and over and over again, maybe. The same thing with the Trump stuff. I um, think that's part of the... Do, do you agree there was a lot of Israeli influence in Trump's administration? Yes or no? Yeah, yes it seems no. like it. it. Yeah, yeah. So, so you agree that Trump is weak then, right? Trump's weak? Mm-hmm. Trump was unable to... Stop, so, and you, and then you... you so then you... I, like, I, I, I understand what you're saying. I could try it harder next time. I know I understand, but I feel like I literally was doing this. And, and he just kept... And you go and you say, Zerka, you agree with Nick? You think Trump's weak? And then Zerka's going to say, look at these coke whores. These fucking chicks are so fucked out. I'm going to fuck I, them all. I, I, well, like that was the entire conversation. I think you it was need like to insane. play them off each other. And I think you need to, uh, to have narrower, simpler lines of questions um, that force them to definite answers. And uh, that's kind of my opinion that if you let the conversation get too expansive with these people and you don't narrow, what happens is they can, they can monologue. But you yeah, I guess I can try. I just have, have to be take... like, I've got to be willing to cut them off over and over again. But at some point, yeah. like there were multiple times where Myron was like, "Let him answer." Like Myron told me to stop and let him answer, and then he rambled. Like, I feel like in I feel like in that environment, it's almost like a I don't know if there's like a path to victory, just a path I think to you're not losing. Too is... Um, I was I, like, I mean, I, I was trying to repeat like quite a bit, and I, there was multiple times where Myron was literally telling me like, "Stop!" Like, let him answer. Like Myron cut me off multiple times because I was like pushing so hard. I don't think I was being overly polite in that. But I'm, I don't know, maybe. Because I've seen you take control of conversations. And well, but in what, like, give me an example. Like, what's another conversation where you think I better control? I'm putting you on the spot hardcore right now, so I understand if you can't think yeah. of one, but like. So, I think when when you were talking about drama that involves you, um, I'm thinking back to, um, remember that debate you had with a corn person? Yeah, but that's a one-on-one convo online where I've got a moderator, and he's like a little bit more reasonable than Fuentes, right? Like I, I in a one on one convo, I can take that, a lot that's of control. Kind of the right? example I'm talking about. Oh sure. If it was literally just going. like if it was just me and Nick at the table, I can just repeat the same question. I'll just keep cutting them off, right? But it's harder yeah. when I have the moderator telling me to stop, and the whole table is against me there too, because I'm literally it's four J- Jewish 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 like yeah, yeah. And a Jew sounds like an intro to a joke. Good one. Okay. Well, anything else? No, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, have nice a great seeing weekend. you, my love. Yeah. I love you. Be careful. See <laughs> you later. He seems like a nice guy. <laughs> He's a very nice guy. <laughs>